Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We just came out of watching Fast 10, Fast X. We're here with the Familia. These are just our quick after the theater thoughts. I have reviews on Hobson Shaw on F9. If you guys are interested, I'll put them, I'll link them down below. If you want to hear our thoughts on, I think I may have done a, re a video, standalone video where I ranked all of them up to Hobson Shaw. I think so. If not, I talked about it in that video. But no, I think I did like a standalone. I'll put it over here. We're not doing the ranking uh, right now. But um, X, Fest X, the continuation, the last ride. Is it the last ride? Maybe not. No, it's not. Uh, what did you guys think about it? I thought it was better than uh, part nine. It's a little bit more driving. So I like it better. So that um, Stephanie was saying something in a theater about Jason Momoa. He acts just like the Joker vibes. Get, well, gives Joker vibes. And I liked it. His character was just... Over the top. Yeah. And he played it really well. A lot of the stunts... I just can't because... <laughs> CGI? Yeah. CGI is like... Some of it is like bad. I try to put a lot of logic into it and it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Even though it's a movie, but still. <laughs> A lot of stuff shouldn't be able to happen. Yeah. And then some stuff happens and then these other stuff happens. And I'm like, <laughs> what? Some something happens and I'm just like <laughs> So yeah, this is a not spoiler review, you guys. It, it kinda looked nice. Just some scenery yeah. we were all over, all around. We were all over the place. My favorite part was just Jason Momoa. I definitely agree. I enjoyed it a whole lot more than nine. Mm -hmm. It felt a little bit more true to the Fast and Furious theme yeah. than some of the other parts that have been happening. Yes, love Jason Moe's character. He did great with it. You know that's tell gonna happen. Me. Tell me what you did in this movie. Cry. <laughs> See, if I cry, I gotta tell why. <laughs> no, you said to say you cried at the at a party. If I say that. Then I want to explain why. No, there's no Stephanie explaining. Laugh. Yeah, there's no explaining. I feel like All you need to know is that his hands went like. <laughs> <laughs> so that part was funny. That part was funny, but and my thing was, I go this ring. Dom is always getting out of the damn car. Why didn't he like? You know he's gonna survive. All the cars are gonna miss him. No, I just feel like that personality, that character. He had grown, and I had kind of grown to like him. Like him I knew it was gonna happen, but I guess he had done that reconnection and that rebond with everybody that it just felt bad that it didn't last. I'm trying to explain it without explaining it. There's people back there, just loudly. I liked it, I thought it was funny, um, but I haven't, I don't think I've watched past like the second movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, but this one was good, it was funny. Okay. Yes, I like this movie. I was very surprised. Can Fast and the Furious get an honest critique review? No, because it's a ridiculous movie. Okay, we can obviously talk about it, give our thoughts or whatever, but like to give it like an honest to God like review is like you can't do this. This is like a popcorn blockbuster beginning of the summer movie. You go for the fun of it, for the explosions. Like Desiree said, you do get more actual like cars in it. It's not as ridiculous as F9. Like you, I mean, if you thought that was gross. Okay, cause I don't know what the hell that was. I mean, they went into space y'all. Okay, so I don't know. Anywho, uh, this one, I felt like it had a mix of like part one and part five. I mean, obviously, it is connected to part five. That's not a spoiler because if you've seen the trailer, you already know that it's connected with it. I actually mentioning Paul Walker, this is something that I've said since he died. They should have killed him off in the movie because it makes absolutely no sense for him not to be partaking in any of the shenanigans that are happening. You obviously know that he's gonna be there. He what are you is there? Yeah, that one part where she says, Yeah, I gotta let Brian and the kids. Yes. Like, cause Brian would be there if it didn't be Mia. Like, no, not to be like sexist, but Mia would be the one at home with the kids. Like, why is she never with her damn kids? You know how Brian is. He's there. He's all about Dom. He he's not. He is about that like adrenaline. You know that word, junkie. junkie. He wants to be all up in that shit. He ain't gonna let his wife go out there by himself. No. Either way, Mia knows how to kick ass. By the way, there's a really good scene there. That it was fun. 
and it, it did what it needed to do and it's not as ridiculous as the other one like they all mentioned Jason Momoa was amazing he was you could tell he had a lot of fun with this part like he was a character on his own I don't think I've ever fully seen him in something like this he's like this like psychopathic person it does have a big credit scene um, it is part one of two, but it does end in a cliffhanger. That is it from us. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, give this video a like, subscribe, comment, share, all that other good stuff. And let's go ahead and give you our score. What are you going to rank it? Medium. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a medium also, which is way better than F9. Cause I got a small, if y'all remember my brother-in-law, he gave it a fucking outside. I don't even have that as a rating, but it's a rating for F9. All right, guys, that's it from us. Until next time, we'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.